Walking up to me, Miss Me couldn't grab me by the shoulder and shook me. Yeah, see? It's Taku. I remembered that. Whoever were in there, it surely had nothing to do with me. Obviously, it was just a coincidence. Commonly used words like these. It was just a stupid, pointless piece of graffiti. There had that had to be the case. I tried to make myself think that way, but no matter what, I was still uneasy. Ultimately, things would end without my knowing who'd written it. If I could, I'd want to go around the class and ask everyone, but I lacked the courage. So I, did that just happen because I didn't pick blue or red or something? Or... I don't know. The room started while I was still preoccupied with that. And the graffiti got swiftly erased. Erased when our teacher said, Okay, who did it? Who drew on the board? Let me guess. No one answered. Somehow, I had an eerie feeling. But I aimed to comfort myself as usual. If we let it scare me, that would be the same as acknowledging the fact that it was some kind of message related to me. Which was impossible. It was a mere coincidence. Telling myself that over and over again, I followed my plans and headed for a net cafe on the way back from school. As I hated going out, the ad cafe was my sole amusement spot. It was located at the edge of Shibuya's shopping district, and as such, many of its customers were delinquent 3D girls or blary salarymen. But all the rooms were meant for individual use, so it wasn't a problem. By the way, the room I was currently in, room 37, had been reserved for my use. and was placed in the furthest back part of the store. It was inconvenient for going to get choose refills, but because not many people went in the nearby seats, it was relatively quiet. I went out of my way to come here once or twice a week on the way back from school in order to log on to ESO with a different ID. Oh man, what a geek. In other words, it was like taking a break. My art was a little too well known. I didn't mind that, but Having to be a paragon of heroic behavior day after day was pretty stressful. The one I use over here is a female character called Lizalotta. However, Lizalotta's battle history was pretty terrible. I only used her to make those around her look better in comparison. Today too, I realized my stress by playing for about three laid back hours. Okay then. Afterward, I chatted with my guild friends for a while, getting worked up over stupid and or aero topics. Is that really all he talks about? Dude. It was close to 9pm when I left the store. Wait, three hours? Well, he talked. He probably talked for a while. I was just gonna say, that's. there's no way he finishes school at 6, is, is there? Around this time of night, there tends to be an especially large number of juvie types in the shopping dif district. I got the urge to vomit when I saw them sitting here and there along the road like it belonged to them, or grinning crudely while eating the fast food hamburgers. If I made the mistake of meeting their eyes, those imbeciles would soon react by attacking me. What savages. People like that aren't human beings, they're just males and females. They don't have a single fragment of social intelligence. Guys like that should go die. Seriously, they should just go off and die. I find that a very funny sentence coming from uh, Taku. It's what, is what I kept thinking. But when you get down to it, it was pointless to respond to them. So I planned to hastily remove myself from the shopping district. It took me a little out of my way, but after leaving the ad cafe, it was my routine to stop by either the nearby 
Manga Dorake or Animite Animate Yeah, Animate. That would be what they're going for. Stores. Deciding I would go to Animate. Don't spell it differently this time. Fucking hell. I'm calling it Animate. Deciding I would go to Animate today, I headed for the subway southern entrance. We come this way, the number of delinquents sharply decreases. The central district was seriously chaotic. Just walking there almost made it hard to breathe. If it were possible, I wouldn't want to take a single step closer. I want it all to get destroyed, leaving behind only the Yat Cafe and Manga Darake. Now then, I'll troll through the comics and those Jinshi today as well. No clue what that is. No clue. I'm guessing it's some sort of comic that they have over there. I don't know. Ah, come to think of it, pre-orders for the fifth Barachu DVD should be opening soon, shouldn't they? Before I knew it, I was standing on the narrow street in the Mariyama area that I always used to get back to my base from Animate. I blinked multiple times. Why are you even saying that? Or thinking that? I took a peek inside my bag. Several textbooks and a gaming enabled cell phone were the only things inside. I hadn't brought anything. I hadn't bought anything at Anime today, despite the fact that I always buy something there without fail. Except today. I let out a sigh and began walking again. From here, it would take less than 50 minutes to get back to my base. Merely moving a little ways away from the station was enough to make the dazzling lights and neon vanish, and the presence of other people grow scarce. If I had to put it one way or another, I wasn't very active, and most I saw middle-aged couples on their way to the hotel district, and once in a while a salaryman returning to his nearby home. I had a hard time thinking that it was the same Shibuya as the shopping district, which overflowed with those delinquents. It seemed that clouds had come out now that it was night, and the moon was hidden from view, making the road darker than usual. Matata. The what same thing? Familiar scenery, a filthy street. Yet I was attacked by the peculiar sensation that I had gone lost in a different world altogether. Illusion time. Although the scenery itself hadn't changed, it was as if I was setting foot in this place for the first time. Also, the rotten stench of raw garbage was floating in the air. Lovely. The seeping moisture that clung to my skin was enough to make me mistakenly think it was raining. The air seemed to paste itself to me. When was again referring to? When I had a previously, previously experienced jamais vu. Uh, no clue what that is. Damn it. Reality and my delusions were getting mixed together. Now my thoughts were starting to resemble the stereotypical analysis offered by some sketchy expert on a TV variety show, weren't they? Anyway, I was certainly experiencing jamais vu at this very m moment. Probably just thinking something happened before while well, it didn't. That's what I'm getting out of the context. And that wasn't all. That prickling along the muscles of my neck. The sensation that someone's looking down on me from heavens. It wasn't a hallucination. It wasn't a hallucination. No matter how I sped up my pace, the gaze followed me wherever I went. Right now, someone was definitely watching me. The presence of the gaze was just that strong. I wanted to turn around, but in the end, I didn't. This was a game I challenged myself with every once in a while. When I heard some small noise, even if I had the feeling that someone was watching, I played the it, it'll take more than 
done that to make me turn around game. Yeah, I just keep going. If I turn around, I will lose. The visions that usually appear in my head when I sense the gaze were ghosts with horrifying faces, monsters, things like that. Well, whatever the case, in these past 17 years there wasn't a single instance of me turning around and actually finding something there. With that limited guarantee of safety attached to it, I came to enjoy this single player mental game. I wouldn't. I would listen carefully to the wind, raise one's eyebrow and make a dubious face, try saying manga-esque lines. Because the reason I didn't turn around wasn't because I was scared or anything. I'd meant to make an urgent show of my nonchalance, but before I release